Hey guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I'm here to show you the Forever Thine wedding workflow. And what's really great about this workflow is that it's aimed towards wedding photographers who have, you know, a couple hundred or even a thousand or more photographs that they've taken in a wedding and they need to kind of make quick edits because they're trying to produce a lot of photographs in a short amount of time. So this workflow comes with 112 wedding presets, so that really gives you quite a variety of options. And it comes with 23 brushes just to make any small adjustments you want to your photographs. So I'm just going to go ahead and start and uh, have this photograph pulled up. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Forever Thine presets. And right now I'm going to go to my base presets. And for this photograph, I'm going to use the base warmer. And then I'm going to go ahead to my tone and tint presets. And for this one, I'm going to be using Fading Dream. Now, even though these presets are one-click edits, you can go over to your navigation over here and change them or tweak them. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and open my Basics tab, and I'm going to change my tint to 45. And I'm going to go ahead and up the clarity to 40. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is use a brush to make just a small adjustment to this photograph. So I'm using the Forever Thine Wedding Fix Under Expose, and what I'm going to do is use that brush just directly in the center here on the subjects. And then I'm just going to hit New and do it one more time just to bring a little bit more light here in the center. All right, so that took me all less than maybe a minute, and as you can see, we've already improved the quality of the photograph. It's kind of added that really nice, warm, dreamy feeling uh, for wedding photographs, and it was pretty quick. So I'm going to move on to another photograph now. So for this photograph, I'm going to be using the wedding black and white presets, and for this one, I'm going to be using the ivory. And I'm just going to tweak this preset by putting my whites up at 31. The next thing I'm going to do is go back to my brushes, just so I can make a few small adjustments. So going back to the wedding brushes, I'm going to go with the shiny and bright. And I'm just going to be using this generally all on the subjects here. And I'm going to be doing that three times. So I'm going to hit new. I'm using the same brush to do the same thing. This is kind of just bringing the shadows up a little bit. Just to add a little bit more light to the photograph. And I'm going to do that one more time. Alright, so the next brush I'm going to do, I'm going to hit New. And I'm going to go for the Clarity and Detail. And you're going to you want to use this brush anywhere where you just want to kind of enhance the detail and the clarity. So in this case, it's going to be around on her veil, the dress. I want to get the lace detail in her dress and him as well. Okay, so here's the before and the after. So it only took a minute or so and we've already made a quick edit to this photograph. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the before and after for this one as well. I don't remember if I did that earlier. All right, so moving on to our third photograph here. For this one, I'm going to be going into the wedding film presets. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Breakfast at Tiffany's, which has really added kind of a nice contrast to the photograph and just really giving it a nice kind of brown sepia tone. All right, and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spot removal tool just to kind of get rid of this weird thing in the street here. Alright, so now that that's gone, I'm going to go to my brushes. 
and I'm going to be using the again Forever Thine Wedding Shiny and Bright and I'm just going to go ahead and use that on the bride here a little bit on her veil as well I'm going to hit new I'm going to start with a new brush and I'm going to be using the Wedding Fix Underexpose and I'm going to be using this on the bride just to add a little bit more light to her and then I'm going to be using it on her bridesmaids in the back as well I'm going to turn the exposure up just a little, a little bit. All right, so now I'm just going to use a custom brush that would come with, uh, it already, I'm sorry, it comes with Lightroom. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to go to my tint brush here, and I'm going to be setting the tint at 36 and the temperature at 29. And basically I'm just using this on the two bridesmaids back here who kind of have a little bit paler skin just to make them blend in a little bit more. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close out my brushes and then I'm going to go and I'm going to tweak this just a little bit by going down to my detail and just sharpening it just a little bit more. So here's the before and the after. So we've really brought out the subject, which is the bride here, and we've added a kind of nice sepia tone with these muted colors and just a lot of contrast and light, and overall just has a more professional and polished look. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you're in the wedding photography business and you need to make a lot of quick edits, then this is definitely a workflow you should check out.